Hey my weight loss peeps, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, hi, my name is De'Ara, aka Candy. I had weight loss surgery March 9th, 2017, and since then I have lost 156 pounds. I do a plethora of weight loss videos. You can probably check them out over in the suggested box. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> if not, I'll have some links down below that you can click. So let's go ahead and get right into the topic. So one thing that has like, I don't know, always bothered me about this process, this journey, one comment that has always gotten to me. You know what really grinds my gears? Well, really, it's a question. And a big question I always get asked is why did I have weight loss surgery, you know, and then it follows with, did you try anything else, blah, 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 blah. Well, um, the why I had weight loss surgery and you know, I would always enter my answer with, I had weight loss surgery because of my health. And someone who obviously watches a lot of my videos heard me say in another video that I didn't have any health issues prior to having weight loss surgery. So they were like, well, which one is it? It seems like you probably just did this for vanity and you should just be honest about that. Uh, first things first, if you would watch all of my videos, if you would follow me, if you, yeah, if you just followed me, you would know that no, I didn't have pre-existing health conditions prior to weight loss surgery. I was in good health. Um, honestly, when I would go to my doctor's appointments, my checkups, when I would go see my primary, my surgeon, all of them would be like, wow, you know, you're 381 pounds, you have no diabetes, you don't have any kidney problems, you don't have any any issues with any of your vital organs, you don't have high blood pressure, you don't have heart disease, like, wow, wow. <laughs> and it was surprising to them because I was 381 pounds. That was a significant amount of weight on my body. Now, with that being said, I, at the time, when I started the process, I was 22, I want to say, I didn't want to have health problems. I didn't want to have health issues. And that is why I decided to have weight loss surgery. Uh, the comment basically was very long, though. It accused me of having the surgery strictly for vanity reasons. And it got me to thinking, what is the issue if I would have had this surgery just for vanity reasons? I mean, hear me out before body positive cuts me down or you come at my confidence or anything like that. I need you to understand, first of all, confidence. You can be confident and still be uncomfortable with something about yourself. Let me say that again. You can be a confident person, but still be uncomfortable with something about yourself. Period. There is nobody on this earth. There is nobody in this universe. I don't care what they tell you. I don't care. I don't care. There's no one that feels 100% confident 100% of the time. Period. With their looks and physical features, whether it be, you know, how their body looks, their face look, how their outer appearance and clothing looks. There's no one who's 100% confident 100% of the time. So therefore, you can feel like I want to change my nose or I want to lose weight and still love yourself. What would be the issue with me saying that I just wanted to have surgery for vanity? What would be the issue with me saying that? Like, I understand that the surgery is for health purposes, first and foremost. Yes, it is. But would I be lying if I said I didn't think about or envision, you know, how much better it's, you know, my body is going to look to me. Or I didn't think about or envision how much comfortable I'm going to be wearing a two piece on the beach. Or I didn't think about and envision myself in shorts, which I hadn't worn shorts or even a tank top. I hadn't worn a tank top in years. Like I'm talking, I hadn't wore, before I had the surgery, I hadn't worn a tank top since I was probably seven or eight years old and I'm 24 years old, okay? I thought about all of these things and all of these things are about my outer appearance. So you could say all of these things are <laughs> vanity, point blank and period. So it really even trips me out when people say things like this, when they're like, well, I can't wait to be a size two or I can't wait to be, you know, a size eight. I can't wait to wear this. I can't wait to wear that. And then if you have a person say that they just had surgery for vanity reasons, those same people who said those comments will jump on them and attack them for admitting the obvious. It's like y'all don't want to live in 
reality. You want to live in reality in your mind, but once, God forbid, somebody speaks it out and say, hey, you just had weight loss surgery for vanity purposes, then it's like, <gasps> triggered. And I know of one particular YouTuber that had weight loss surgery and she is constantly attacked. I mean, she's constantly attacked for not loving herself, for not being confident. And now that she has lost weight, you know, she posts risque pictures, sexy pictures. I love them. I, I get confidence from them. I'm like, yes, like I cannot wait to be up here posting my body like that. And the thing is, if people would have followed her, if they would have known her, if they would have seen her, she's always been doing this. But it's just like something people are so willing to attack you with that you had this surgery for vanity. You had this surgery so that you could wear that dress and you could be looking good. And this is why you had it. And if that was the reason I had this surgery, who the hell are you to attack me about it? It's like, why, why can't I live? The fuck, can I live? Can I live? Can I fuck? Why can't I live? I feel the same way about it as plastic surgery. No weight loss surgery and plastic surgery is not the same thing. But for instance, if I get my boobs done and then I post a picture of me wearing a halter top with no bra on, you would be very dumb to say, oh, you got your boobs done so you could wear that halter top with no bra. Uh, yeah, I, that's kind of the whole purpose of getting your boobs done. Like, let me tell y'all a secret. Us women like to get our boobs done so we don't have to wear bras. We hate bras. I guess my whole purpose of this video is really to say, who are I? Who are you? Who are us? To determine and to judge if somebody had surgery for vanity purpose. Okay, if they, let's just say, yes, they had it for a vanity reason. Does that make them a horrible person? Does that mean they took a poop in your Cheerios? Does it mean they killed your dog? Like, what makes them then a horrible person if they had it for vanity? And please don't get on me body positive community because y'all know I have a whole different feeling about what it means to be body positive. And I don't think that people who are always in that community are indeed pot body positive i feel it's more fat positive than body positive the bottom line is just leave people the hell alone let people make the choice that they want to make if they make it for health reasons if they make it for vanity reasons for whatever reason is personal to you and do not be embarrassed or ashamed or timid to say what your reason is without feeling like you're going to be attacked by people so to the person who said i had this surgery for vanity reasons if it makes you sleep better at night yes i did and don't i look damn good mm -hmm. and so do you and you and you and you in the back corner who said you had surgery for health reasons but you really had it for vanity reasons i see you sis so let me know, what was your reason for having weight loss surgery? How do you feel when people say it's for vanity reasons? Does it trigger you? If so, why does it? I just really, truly, honestly want to know. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the bell for notifications because YouTube is pad D. And if you don't do it, you will not see more videos from me. And I mean, that would be a shame if I'm just sitting here talking to myself in front of a camera and ain't nobody watching. Bye, y'all. <laughs>